What could possibly go wrong when the government undertakes a multi-million dollar construction project in one of New Mexico's most spectacular locations? According to a year-long Larry Barker investigation, it involves a bit of bureaucratic bungling, squandered tax dollars, and tons of priceless relics. Here's Larry's report. It's a waste of money and it's just appalling. Somewhere along the way, the project got bungled. Yes. How would you explain this to taxpayers? I don't think it's explainable. There's something wrong in the rugged back country of Northwest New Mexico, and just getting there is a challenge. And the thing that goes through a lot of people's minds when they do this is, where in God's name are we going? This place is out in the middle of nowhere. You leave the pavement south of Nagizi, follow a rutted dirt track past the flash flood warnings to one of the most important historical sites in the U.S. Welcome to the Chaco Canyon National Park. Between the years 850 A.D. and 1150, this remote spot was home to a thriving civilization. You will be blown away. Now retired, Dabney Ford was Chaco's chief of cultural resources. You hit the canyon, you look at these astonishing monuments, and, and it's just, it's a huge surprise to people. Consider the largest ruin in the park, Pueblo Benito. Using only primitive tools, skilled craftsmen a thousand years ago constructed an intricate 800-room complex unequaled for its masonry and architecture. Pueblo Bonito was Chaco Canyon's first construction project. Just down the road, you'll find the National Park's most recent undertaking. It's the spanking new $3 million state-of-the-art Chaco Canyon Visitor Center. But where Pueblo Bonito is an example of pre-Columbian artistry, this project is a case study in bureaucratic bungling. This was a government project, mm -hmm. in your opinion. Did the government manage this in a responsible way? Absolutely not. The Park Service bungled this. It's the most disrespectful thing I think I've ever seen, is, is why, why would we do that? In an internal report, a Chaco curator wrote, quote, it galls and embarrasses me that the National Park Service looked so incompetent. So what happened? Well, you need to go back. Beginning in the late 1890s, organized archaeological expeditions have excavated through a thousand years of debris to uncover Chaco artifacts, clues to daily life of the long-gone Anasazi civilization. There's no gold, there's no diamonds, there's nothing like that, but they are exquisite. They're the gems of a thousand years ago. Want to see some of those stunning relics? Well, you won't find them here. You see, Archaeologists uncovered some two million artifacts buried in these ruins, but all of it, the trade goods, the jewelry, the turquoise, the pottery, was crated up and hauled away. Barb West is a retired Chaco Park superintendent. The artifacts from Chaco Canyon fill up m museums in the, on the East Coast. Because many of Chaco's archaeological expeditions were sponsored by East Coast museums and universities, those institutions took possession of the artifacts. That's why Chaco's antiquities are hidden away in places like New York's Natural History Museum and the Smithsonian. Some artifacts are at UNM, none are at Chaco. The National Park Service wanted to bring those relics back home. So as part of a multi-million dollar, decade-long project, a new Chaco Canyon Visitor Center was designed to put excavated antiquities on public display. A climate-controlled exhibit room would showcase almost 4,000 priceless artifacts on loan from museums across the U.S. The space was open to the public in 2017, but if you come here expecting to see rare antiquities, you'll be disappointed. You see, the one thing missing from the exhibit hall are the exhibits. Oops. Aaron Adams is Chaco's chief of cultural resources. How many original artifacts are on display here at Chaco Canyon? Currently, we have none on display. There's an empty room. 
with, with cases in it. No artifacts. Somebody at the Park Service bungled this project. That's right. Despite teams of architects and contractors, the Park Service committed a colossal blunder. And the focus is on the new building's heating and air conditioning, or HVAC system. Today, does the HVAC system in this room work properly? No, it functions, but it does not work properly. In fact, after spending $365,000 trying to troubleshoot the HVAC system, the Park Service figured out it had installed the wrong equipment. A consulting engineer concluded, quote, the design of the HVAC system is incapable of consistently maintaining temperature and humidity. Why is this important? Well, Chaco's artifacts are a thousand years old. In order to display them, museum standards require strict temperature and humidity controls. Because the installed HVAC system is unreliable, the Park Service had to pull the plug on its world-class artifact exhibit. Loan agreements were canceled, and all those priceless relics dug up here in Chaco Canyon years ago remain in storage back east. And all those brand new display cases here at Chaco, they're empty. Chaco's museum curator called it, quote, a massive black eye in the museum community. Who's to blame here? I think the Park Service is to blame. I think the American public deserves a lot better. And without um, artifacts, they're being cheated of the whole experience of Chaco. The people who were there had extraordinary skill, and you can't understand that skill unless you see the things they made. Denise Robertson is Chaco Canyon's newly named park superintendent. Chaco wasn't built in a day nor was it built perfectly the first time around. So that evolved over time, and perhaps mistakes were made in which we will own those mistakes. Even though the problems were detected three years ago, the Park Service has made no effort to repair or replace the defective HVAC. So we're working with the regional office to get a team of experts out to evaluate the system. Do you know why the regional office hasn't done this years ago. I don't know why the regional office hasn't done it years ago. The sheer remoteness of Chaco, it's difficult to get folks out here to take a look at things and to troubleshoot. Do you have any idea what it's going to cost to either fix or replace that system? We don't know exactly what the problems are, um, so it's hard to guess on what that would cost. Although there are no artifacts in Chaco Canyon, the public can at least read about them in the gift shop. If we're going to create a space force, we can certainly heat a building, a 1,500 square foot room in Chaco Canyon. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. Our coverage continues online. You can find a gallery of artifacts found at Chaco Canyon, as well as a bonus interview on KRQE.com and the KRQE News app. Man,